Hello YouTube. This video is for RMX 77. All right, RMX. These are the hard drives that I'm uh, going to send send over your way, just to show you what they are, so you're prepared for what you're going to get. Obviously, you're prepared by size, but uh, come on, focus, you stupid phone. All right, there we go. A Western Digital 800 JB. Now these are notoriously reliable drives. I've seen many of these survive years and years and years. This particular one was manufactured in 2006 and it still works just fine now. So it's about five years old and it's perfect. The other one's a fairly recent Western Digital Caviar Blue. Now unfortunately the amount of cash is very very low. Eight megs. But as long as you, uh, but like you were saying, if you use the 80 gigabyte drive for your operating system and the 320 gig for just storage, then you'll be fine. Because you don't need a whole, because, I don't know, if you're, run, if you're playing 1080p video or something, it might lag a little bit from an 8 meg cache. But other than that, good enough for a storage drive, especially for music, all the, all the music that uh, we've talked about, you know, there you have it. I've got this computer all set up. I got a, I plugged in a PETA cable so I can just uh, deband these suckers. Just, of course, I'm doing this on top of a record player. <laughs> I'm debanding hard drives on top of a record player. Both of these do have jumpers in them. Just so you know, I stole this jumper out of a uh, a floppy drive actually. <laughs> just stuck it on there. All right, so we'll take a. This this video is also just how to deban a hard drive with uh, your everyday computer. This is my secondary computer that I have up here in my bedroom with the big receiver and the, you know, the whole like. Let's get this drive plugged in. And then of course we have the paytas. Of course we got payta payta. Alright, I got the hard drive set up in a very odd, just, I made sure they were both at a 90, mostly at a 90 degree angle, so, but if you're going to run drives outside your case, just make sure they're at a, at a good angle. I would have put them flat down, but the PETA cable doesn't allow for that, so I've had to do it like this. Uh, either way, uh, hey, you know what, let me see if I can do it that way. I can force the PETA cable to just cooperate with me. You know what? Oh, there we go. That'll work perfect. As long as everything's snug and in there. Move the record player back a little bit. There you have it. Alright. I also had to replace the power supply in this computer. Due to a fellow YouTuber who warned me that these Antec True Power 2.0s are all over the badcaps.com forums. Now, that surprises me because this thing's lasted as long as it has, but... Looks like I'm going to have to recap that sucker at some point or another, so I'm using an Ultra LSP 550 instead. Alright, so, debanning these hard drives. Okay. Now i got to turn the computer on, now that I've plugged the, fr the uh, processor uh, power cord in before I didn't do that. <clears throat> Let's start this thing up and uh, turning in the power supply might be helpful. Turn that shit on. I unplugged the SATA drives in this machine, so only the PETA ones are hooked up. There we go. Picked up the two drives. It should boot from the CD. I've already burned a D-band CD beforehand. Now here we have it. <coughs> Derek's boot nuke. This is one classic way to uh, wipe hard drive, mu wipe multiple hard drives at the same time, and that's the reason <clears throat> that it's good. I mean, you can do secure erase is faster and most cases it's a lot better but the thing about D-band is you can do multiple drives at once which is why I like it so much and you can do it in ways that aren't just secure arrays built into the SATA uh, <clears throat> chips themselves here we go USB devices yeah like the microphone I'm gonna D-band a microphone and a mouse And a camera that apparently fell off the top. There we go. The 
webcam fell off the top. Oh, uh, I got a bunch of unrecognized. <laughs> I think that's the card reader right there, though. Let's wipe these. I don't know what these do. Those just aren't going to be done. So here we are. <clears throat> you recognize these ATA discs, both the 80 gig and the 320 gig that we got right there. Now what I do on the keyboard is I press spacebar. Wipe. Now you can press M for the method. And the method that I like is the uh, <clears throat> the methods that I usually use are the, either the 7 pass erase, which is a uh, uh, DOD 5220.22-M. But my favorite is the uh, PRNG stream. This method fills the device with a stream from the PRNG. It is probably the best method to use on modern hard drives because encoding schemes vary. This method has a medium security level with four rounds and a high security level with eight rounds. Which means I'm going to be doing eight rounds. <laughs> so we'll do that on both. So we'll do eight rounds. So here's how it so here's how it's set up. We've got it on uh PRNG stream, verify last pass and eight rounds, so it's high security. <clears throat> so if there was anything that happened to be important on these drives, nobody could get access to it. Now, RMX, I do trust you with the with these drives. I know you're not gonna get data off of them because you need them bad. <clears throat> but if someone happens to steal these, this is why doing a D band before getting rid of a drive is a good idea just in case if somebody else happens to get a hold of them. <clears throat> so, let's do a D-band. Um, lol. <laughs> That's a problem. Wow. Wow. That's fucked up. You know, I think the USB device has fucked that up. Yeah, so I'll hold the power button to shut it. You know, I'll just take the power supply, cut the power off at the beginning right there. I think what did that was the card reader. So I'm going to, uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ah, squeal like a pig. figure out where the hell a card reader's plugged in. And unplug it. There. Right. Unplug the card reader. Let's start this again. Because that was ridiculous. There are the drives. Both span up. Let's try this again. Just boot this thing straight up. I, I think that card reader just has a lot of derp in it. For whatever reason, it just gets in the way sometimes. It's waiting for USB devices to register, and that um, card reader was a USB device. So I'm thinking that's what pissed it off. <laughs> It's detecting everything. Okay, yeah, there's no random derp in the uh, in it this time, so wipe both the drives, change the method to PRNG stream, make sure the rounds are set to eight, and there you have it. Let's start the wipe. There we go. Now this is this is what you're supposed to see when uh, debanning these drives. <clears throat> saying zero bytes per second. Oh, there we go. 
tells you how fast it's erasing each disc, which is pretty nice. Obviously, it's going to erase the 80 gig a lot faster than it will the 320. So, basically, all you have to do is just, uh, it's running at pretty much the same speed for both, which is pretty cool. So, what I'm going to do is just let this run, and then uh, RMX, I'll send these drives out in a box to you, and you will have storage. So, this is my method of debanding a drive. Uh... Since these drives are going to somebody, I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys probably the most secure method of erasing drives with DBAN. Obviously, the most secure method you can use is a secure erase, since that hits the chips on the boards themselves of the drives. But <clears throat> this method is quite a bit easier and almost just as effective. So the problem is that uh, this is going to take about 26 hours. <laughs> so I'm going to let this run and... Uh, not touch it until that's done so for now so yeah I'm stumbling over my words so have a good one everybody ciao